Right, here we are, Battle for Middle Earth 2, 2 Towers Not Enough, and in this one we have one hell of a fucking game. That is the understatement of the year. Right, we have a 3 versus 3, myself, Jimbo, top right here, as men. <coughs> Next to me, allied with me, Carl. Carl the zombie, because he always comes back from the dead. Lewis, Bilbo Bags. We haven't created a nickname for Lewis just yet. Right, <clears throat> down here, we have old Gazzy, Gazzy boy as uh, dwarves with two barracks, interesting. And here we have Ryan as customary men, and down here we have Jackson as dwarves. So he's going for his little battle wagon. The old battle wagon rush, which can be very devastating. You know, it's always uh, the last thing you want to see when you got a bunch of Gondor soldiers or a bunch of Uruks or Guardians is another battle wagon coming along and, s well, basically just squashing the shit out of it. Right. Mine have already come out. Well, not really come out, but uh, they certainly got the barracks up and running. Okay, so what we got here? Over here I see Lurtz is dueling. Is he actually shit? He's lost, he's lost quite a bit of health against this uh, this guy right here. Right, where we go? Where we go? Where we go? Right. Okay. Goody, goody. Now this is expensive, Lou. This is expensive. This is basically uh, meaning that 500 early game. If you're missing 500 early game, that can be very, very difficult. Right. I see Gloin, and he's already on red. He's got troops coming in. I can already see a problem. However, it is not necessarily fucked. I think the major issue right here... Don't lose loads. Don't lose loads. That's it. These guys are the main issue. Let's see how much damage. Let's see how much damage. Oh, this is not good. He needs reinforcements here. This is where that extra 500 would really, really come in handy. Right. <clears throat> There's a lot to go on. I'll try and be all places at all times to be able to see what the hell's going on. Right, I've got my tr force right here, and Carl has got his force right here. Now, he's splitting Jackson up. Now, this is a very difficult situation for him to be in. He's already uh, getting some here. Ryan, like a boss, is bringing in extra troops to assist. Now... This is Elven Wood. Now, I did put the Elven Wood here for Lewis, but already you can see right here... Uh, yeah, he's on both stance. It's not very good. Best thing you can do here, Lewis, is to target the Guardians rather than Gloin because you're never going to get him this way. Um, right, Pikeys. Pikeys are not really going to do much damage. I don't even think he needed heal there, Gaz. I think that was a bit of a waste. I don't. Yeah, you would have been fine with that anyway. Oh yeah, these are clumped. Absolutely clumped the fuck out of. Right, I'm destroying his mines. Now this was the thing, like, I was basically thinking to myself that I was going to try and chop um, Jackson for mines. So let's see how much money he's got. Still only got 300. Um, as opposed to, uh, well, myself, I got 450. But, uh, yeah, this is not good. This is not good. There's basically nothing he can do about it. Now, I think... Probably, I do recall Lewis uh, mentioning that he was under a bit of stress here. Um, I think we should have actually had Carl go over to Lewis to go and help. Uh, and then it was it should have been up to me to basically take out uh, Jackson and deal with uh, Ryan's forces. So but that's a bit bad play like on our part, I think, because obviously like, Lewis being out of the game was just not helpful to anybody. So, uh, yeah, Jackson must have, like, literally no bloody... Yeah, 250. Absolutely crazy. Right. We've got Gloin running around. i got these. I'm just trying to take out as many of these mines as possible. I don't want him to have any money. I don't want him to have any money. Right, I've got more troops coming out here. What's going on here? Ryan is sending troops, everything over to the right. He's, he's, he's already got a bloody barracks in here just in case. He's building up here. 
Gaz is systematically taking out all of the farms and furnaces. Lewis is unable to do anything. There's no sort of counterattack. There are guardians walking all over the place, unopposed, unchallenged. There's nothing you can do about it. And this is a shitty place to be. A really shitty place. Now I'm assuming Lurtz has already uh, bought it. He's bitten the bullet. Yeah, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Get this. No, no, no. Get this uh, platoon around here. Get this around here. You want to be completely surrounding the thing. And look how fast that's actually going down. Considering these are not upgraded troops. Now this is uh, an L problem. Right, this thing going around, but not really doing enough damage at all. So I've got uh, more and more troops coming in. Carl's got his forces. This is quite a battle that's going on right here. This is really, really important battle right here, but I do see quite a lot of mine and Carl's forces, and certainly I've got forces right here. I think, is he going to walk? Oh, he was close, he was close. He was very close. Right, more of his uh, troops right here. There's a lot, a lot to come in. Now, this is completely s surrounded here. Look how much quicker it's going down. Lewis, unable to handle the Dwarven Rush, and certainly on an early, uh, a small map like this, it is indeed very, very difficult to be able to beat. Very, very difficult. So, but Lewis is not out of this game just yet. Right, Carl coming out with the troops, and I'm building a heroic statue, because it's always good to have, uh, well, more armor and, uh, yeah, certainly some more experience. Don't go quicker. So here we are. Carl and myself have won this battle. We have won it. Now it's time to go in. It's got to go in as quick as possible. All right. Gaz is regrouping. He is regrouping. He's got some pikeys, but he doesn't really need them. There's no cavalry on this uh, on this game. So he's playing all right. He's got some. Um, He's, yeah, he's doing pretty damn well. Where is he going to be his next target? What does he go for? What does he go for? Carl is looking a bit empty right there. Right, now Carl's sending everything down here, as am I. We've got a lot of forces here. There's a lot of pikeys. He can't go near me, troops. He cannot go near. Jackson in a bad bad way he's under attack he's got Ryan doing his very best the unfortunate thing is is that Jackson's going down but Lewis just went down a bit quicker that's the only difference now what is Gaz doing right and Gaz could have gone in there a little bit sooner uh, but uh, hi ho Okay, Gaz is going in. He's going in. Now, he's got to be clinical here. He's got to really take out. Now, I don't know what he's going to go for. If it were me and I had all these guys with the war chant, he probably did the war chant a bit too early. Probably should have gone right around here and clumped this right here. I think that would have been the best course of action. Right. Fortress under attack. Elven wood right here. There's a, a lot going in right here. Oh, he's done it. He's only delaying the inevitable, though. Boromir with the blowback. He's doing the blowback. He's going to go. He's going to get rid of him. That's brilliant. Brilliant play by Carl right there to get rid of him. Now, the upgrades on these rangers as well. So uh, He's certainly been doing good. Now, Gaz has been able to offer some assistance over here as well, which is pretty damn impressive. And they're doing the bloody rebuild again. Two rebuilds. I did not notice that. This has definitely delayed the inevitable over here. Right. I'm sending my troops over to go and help Carl. This, this uh, fortress uh, maintained way too much damage. All it needs is a little bit of a tip over and that's it. Gone. I think Carl, oh, and he's done the bloody oil cast. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. D didn't need that. Didn't need that. But I do have my Boromir right here. And my Boromir bloody took him out. That's what he did. Well done, Bozza. Well done, my son. 
You know, he's going back to be able to regroup. Be able to re bloody group. Now I have got some trebs over here. <clears throat> Carl has been able to fight off this force. But I think Carl probably some troops in there might have helped a little bit earlier. Like Lewis is completely out of this game by looks like uh, by the looks of it. Uh, it's going pretty damn quick. 87 out of 200. Um, yeah, that's not good. I do I uh, did begin to uh, start giving uh, Lewis as much money as I possibly could, and I kept my troops here as well. So here we are. Ryan left some troops there. All right, he does have some troops. Don't send Oryx into here. The cave troll will fuck you up. Got to be pikeys only. All right, more troops coming out with Boromir healing. I just barely had enough to be able to fend this off. Now I think this was bad play by myself and Carl because we really did leave this uh, fortress here. Um, how did this guy get through? How did he get through? Uh, that is that is really shit. So Carl, that sucks, man. That really sucks. We really should have like seen that a little bit sooner here. Really should have seen that sooner. All right, we got this force over here. I got another force being created too. Trebuchets on the way out. Gaz right here. Being very defensive by putting up towers. Now he is doing the right thing by having this, but he probably should have taken that out. <coughs> Alright. Lumber mills. I got troops. I do have troops. This game is going very, very quickly. It's going very, very quickly. Okay. Carl, putting pressure on Ryan. Ryan is the next one for us to be able to go to. But I think Jackson is must be over here somewhere, I would have thought. Where the hell is Jackson? See Jackson there. Oh right, here we go. So this is the only thing keeping Jackson in the game. Sweet Christ. That's all I can say. Sweet bloody Christ. Okay, it's all coming over here. Alright, Carl putting up one hell of a struggle right here just north of his base. This force should be annihilated by what Carl's got here. Now I left something here, but I don't think it's enough. Because, yeah, I mean, what exactly are you guarding if there's only just these two buildings anyway? I think I think Gaz should have been putting a bit of pressure on here, to be honest. I think that's... Uh, <coughs> he, he had the numerical advantage there, I think, to basically just keep on going. Anyway, I'm here with another, my other force, my main force, to try and tackle uh, Ryan and be able to put pressure on what these guys are doing over here. Now, I would have liked... Ah, oh, Carl... Come down here, come down here, come down here, Carl. There we go, there we go. That's the thing, you need to get Ryan out as quickly as possible. Now he's done the old horn. Got these guys cowering. Well, they probably shouldn't have been attacking that and more attacking that, to be honest. Last thing you need is upgraded rangers having a pot shot of all of your troops. Alright, my troops go in to sort of help a little bit here. But they do leave this base very, very vulnerable. And Gaz walks in. Gaz is walking in. It's too easy. I might have won this battle here, but it's sort of a, a bit of a uh, false flag operation. It's a bit of a decoy. Alright, up comes the elfin wood. What exactly are these things shooting at? Oh, it's not good enough. It's just not good enough. Need to be getting more troops out of here. Need to be getting way more. This is not good enough. Ryan, in a bit of a pickle here. I think if I had more assistance from Carl, I would have been able to do this in, I think. But in, in essence, Lewis is out of this game. Lewis, I don't think you should be piddling around with this. I think you'd, like more troops being able to like help us out over here would have been more helpful. Alright, the heel comes out. The heel comes out, but is it enough? The last thing you need is this. Oh, thank God. A little bit of cavalry over to help. 
need this. Well, by cavalry, I mean actually um, uh, trebuchets, but hi ho. Right. <clears throat> Arrow volley on these guys. Was it worth it? Unfortunately, this goddamn thing is out. This is out, and I need more troops. I am too slow with the additional troops. Too damn slow. All I see is blue everywhere. Gaz is slowly taking over the fucking map. Nothing but guardians. Maybe we should have like uh, come out with some uh, some cavalry. That certainly would have uh, upset the whole uh, the whole thing. <clears throat> All right, Carl has also completely collapsed on this side over here. Now my force has been destroyed, but <clears throat> I'm going back to my own base here to try and consolidate and go again. Now I think this is almost a bit too late because if you're sending in these ballistas one by one, they're just like being chopped like one by one. That's it. It's they needed to be protected. They really did need to be protected. I think just not to go one by one, but just to do it sort of like in one big main force. Jackson building mines everywhere, slowly getting back into this game. Can you believe it? Right, he's getting in there as well. They are aggressive, bloody aggressive in this game, without a doubt. And slowly they're coming over to my neck of the woods. <coughs> Now I'm not quite sure where these ballistas are going, but that's the thing. They, they needed to be a bit more coordination, I think, with uh, w where exactly. Who, are you wait? If you're waiting for me, wait for me, and then uh, and then we'll go after them. Oh, very nice, very nice arrow volley there by the opposition. <coughs> the ballistas needed to be a bit more protected here, and I hope these guys don't run into the same problem. Right, a force here. Ryan was able to repel this attack but now we've got to try and hope that we recover and you don't want to lose this right here Carl you do not want to lose this guy and those uh, those axe throwers and Menadale are doing devastating damage right Carl uh, usurped from his old base and replaced with mines. The end is nigh. That is without a doubt. Can't can't seem to break through uh, Ryan's bit right here. I think the the attacks on our side has been very poorly like put together. I don't think we were able to really coordinate all as one unit. To be honest, we got random ballistas going in one by one, basically just getting chopped the moment they came out. <coughs> I think we needed to uh, attack as one big proper unit, but we uh, we seem to be doing a bit better at the moment. So ballistas right here, rangers coming in. The horn, the horn is always deadly. Could these three trebuchets here, two for Carl and one for me, could they be enough to make a bloody difference over here? You'd like to think so. Hope to God that they're going to do something. Gaz free to reign wherever he pleases he's coming in he's going in for my base right now all right he's coming in he's coming in i've got rangers in here but is it going to be enough to be able to do something that's a nice big clump right here if only somebody had ooh i don't know an arrow volley Oh yeah, fuck off. There we go. See you later, son. Right, Gaz's force annihilated. Maybe should have had a few pikes in there. Might have had a few people left over. Right, Rangers with the, all of this siege. Now the siege is just buttering around at the moment. I think we needed to push in. Push in, push in, push in here. <coughs> Need more troops. Ugh, it's only mine coming in. Come on, boys! You got to move in. You got to move in for the dead. Going for the kill. Right. Guy's coming in. He's got Gloin this time. I think if Gloin had come around the first time around, it might have been a bit different. Don't think I have enough this time around. I'm desperately trying to finish off Ryan over here. 
desperately trying to finish him off. I think we where where's all the pikeys? Where's pikeys? Where's Ay ay ay, we don't have anything. We needed more of these. Right, four thousand Gaz, three three grand, Carl two grand, Ryan seventeen hundred, one thousand for him, two hundred for that. <coughs> Keep on asking me for money, Lewis. Keep on asking me for money. I can't concentrate on all things. I know I do keep on giving you money throughout the game, but... Right, Rohirrim over here to run over what's left. My Rohirrim. We have direct access to attacking the fortress. It is going down. It is. There's nothing they can do to stop it. I've got my forces here, just, just in case. Is it enough? Is it enough? Gloinin over here too, but he's about to be level 10. This is interesting. So there's basically just bases all over the map, really. Gaz has really just taken over the complete left third of the map. Right, Ryan's fortress has gone. It is gone. He is still fighting for his life. Gaz and Jackson did not help Ryan here with being able to save his base, I must admit. I think that was... Uh, that was a bit poor showing, I think. I don't know what the hell's going on over here, but I would have tried to help Ryan keep his fortress here. I don't see any assistance whatsoever on Ryan's side to be able to keep this base. Jackson, building towers. Um, I, I guess. I mean, yeah, I guess why not? He's not going to lose him, is he? He's not going to lose him? He could, unless he does heal. He might have a heal. He might have a heal. Oh, he lost him. He lost him. That was silly. That was very silly. I don't know what the hell this is. Yes, so this is one of uh, uh, Jackson's tactics. Um, I I like the ballsy nose of it, Jackson. But uh, there was no fucking way I was going to allow that to happen. Let's put it that way. Okay. Ballistas. Trebuchets. They are on the way. It is interesting. If only these troops can be dealt with. Five siege. Oh, if only they had some troops to help them out. I've got my Boromir, but he's very close to being got out. That is Nishtgoot. Okay, so I do have troops over here. Uh, <clears throat> I guess Jackson trying to sort of uh, stick his oar in there and uh, try and uh, disrupt as much as possible. So I put barracks up here. I've got enough arrow tiles around the fortress. But I figured to myself, well, might as well start getting some towers here if he's going to start doing that. Now, what the hell happened? Right, the mine. So they did an undermine, which basically scuppered the whole thing. Now that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. It looks like every single bit of siege got destroyed in this one mine. And uh, even Ryan is over here now. So we are at the point where Ryan and Jackson on the enemy team have lost their bases. And then Gaz and Carl have lost their bases, so it's only just me and Gaz. <coughs> so, whoever can sort of come out like better, but it looks like Jackson's got a lot more than, say, like Lewis. I mean, Lewis, don't don't bother with the pikeys, just bring out the Uruks. Probably a good idea to get some, uh, uh, some uh, cavalry, I would have thought. Loads of cavalry and loads of uh, ballistas, I think. Uh, that could have been pretty helpful. So now everyone's trying to build all over the damn place. All over the place. There are just barracks and mines everywhere. Now this is a pretty big force right here. But it's all kicking off over here. Oh, another nice hour of volley. See you later. Right. 
Now uh, that's interesting. <clears throat> this is attacking this, but a siege, a bit of siege comes out. That's all I need, and then slowly but surely start attacking this thing and getting rid of it. Right. Yeah, this is a pretty large force here. Yes, this is a very offensive base. The 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 map is changing all over the place, really. I think they. I think the difference here was that. Gaz was able to defeat uh, Lewis quicker than me and Carl were able to defeat Jackson. And I think if we had defeated Jackson sooner, uh, then we certainly would have been able to get onto Ryan. And then Gaz would have had to have played some sort of uh, defensive operation there, I think. So, yeah, I got this coming out. Yeah, more siege over here as well. Now, it looks like there's a big battle going on over here too. This is a pretty important battle, to be fair. And here we are, many Dale over there, two of these catapults. Ah, oh, hobbits as well. Hobbits, Gaz's hobbits, he's throwing everything. He's throwing everything. He knows he has to win this little battle here. If he wins this one, He's basically destroyed our southern force down here. He's just got too much. He has just got too much. Uh, I was giving a lot of money to uh, um, Carl and to uh, Lewis. And, uh, yeah, three and a half grand for Jackson. Jesus, he's basically back in this game, really. Lewis has got two grand, but only 300. <sighs> yeah, this is crippling. Absolutely crippling. There's just nothing he can do. I'm bringing my uh, Boromir back, trying to recoup and sort it out. This slowly picking off as much as I possibly can. But it's all, <clears throat> all in vain. I don't see much yellow, and I don't see much white. It just seems to be lots of blue and red and uh, Jackson's color <clears throat> yeah try and get 20 out of this one Lewis try and get 20 uh, 20 orc laborers I think Carl is a bit out of uh, out of ideas here there's just too much there's too much of a force to be able to take out here and certainly these two platoons are not going to be able to do nothing Right, what's going on over here? Right, I have a small force over here. And I've got my trebuchets. I am trying to fight back. I am trying my best to fight back here. Uh, that is unfortunate that you just so happen to run a berserker right near some horses. That is unfortunate. <coughs> oh, Gimli as well, crikey. Alright, Gaz is going in. But Carl is putting up stiff resistance. He's got pikeys with rangers, and you always fancy yourself if you've got a bit of those. But it would have been a big difference if he had had maybe Elvenwood and Boromir here. Heal. slowly getting out Jackson's forces, his forward forces right here but it's a bit too little too late there's just too much to be able to take out Gaz's forces just haven't been able to uh, well they haven't lost anything really and that looks like an earthquake an earthquake to finish off uh, what was left of Carl's forces D uh, Lewis, don't don't send the berserkers one by one. Like I have them grouped somewhere, like in a tree over here, like about eight of them or something like that, and then divide them into two groups, and then just send them around the map. But you've got to know where you're running to. You have to know where you're running. If you don't know where you're running into, you 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 could run into something pretty nasty. 
Right, they're slowly getting through all of these buildings over here. Carl's still trying to take these guys out. It is very difficult. I've even got my troops over here trying to help out. But I'm slowly taking out all of these things over here. More trebs, more trebs, more trebs. Now Jackson decided to put this sneaky little uh, uh, demolisher in round here. Now, uh, why did I move this? Why did I move this? Right. Over here. Ryan, with a lot of cavalry. Interesting, when there's so many pikeys around, uh, around the map. Pikeys everywhere. And fortunately for me, Lewis just so happens to have a shitload of pikeys right near my base. But uh, that was a bit uh, sloppy on my part. Was a bit sloppy. But uh, trying to concentrate on things all over the map, it's a bloody nightmare. So, yes, here we go. Pikeys, Lewis over to save the day. There's just no action on this side of the map. It's all over on ours. I think these are wasted troops over here, boys. Absolutely wasted. Oh no, don't do that, Lewis. Like you got to clump, you got to like click here, like to make sure you get this thing. It is a good thing I had this thing upgraded with the uh, the extra armor, or I would have been in a bit of a problem here. Right, I do have more catapults and making making a bit of a pushback against Jackson over here still got more siege but the hobbits oh I put the heel on these guys I think I remember yeah the hobbits were devastating I really devastating I think I, I really needed to have some uh, rangers here to be able to protect these things because they are just going through look how quick they get these things that is crazy three of them destroyed just like that army of the dead my army of the dead let's see how much you can do with it that's the thing when you got army of the dead what are you gonna do with it over to do, annihilate Ryan's cavalry getting anyone who comes anywhere near over here too oh it's devastating absolutely devastating random berserkers there we go brilliant brilliant play getting all of these guys as well this has really uh, delayed the inevitable for sure uh, but it was certainly helpful it was certainly helpful yeah, Lewis, I think if you had just made shit loads of berserkers, but then just kept them, kept them, and then just sent them all together, I think you could have done some real damage. All right, Jackson has created a new fortress. And he is back. I think this game is definitely over. This game is definitely over, but it was over a long time ago. But I think that I think we still could have like done some things that would have actually helped us out. I think um, Lewis transitioning to maybe berserkers and very wisely sort of you know using them as best as you can to be able to uh, take out as much as you possibly can of the enemy. I think I think that really could have helped, uh, but. Um, uh, I mean if you don't have the command points and you don't have the money it's very difficult uh, Carl has basically been non-existent in this game like for the for quite a while I see a platoon here uh, a couple of like Gondor soldiers here so I think basically it's me and a few of these platoons of Lewis versus Ryan Gaz and Jackson so yes Christ Christ alive Alright, Myro here, I'm trying to like run over and do whatever they can. 
Boromir out like a light against uh, Gloin and Gimli. Gimli coming in. Lewis's Pikes. <sighs> yeah, it's devastating. Uh, it is devastating. I think uh, some Pikes and crossbowmen might have been a good idea. Uh, but uh, or even wargs, there's a lot of guardians around. There's a lot of troops that are not pikes. So, um, but then again, when the wargs go near anything with like a tower like this, I mean, they tend to uh, take on a lot of damage. And it's there's way too much here to be able to take out. Way too much. And uh, yeah, Ryan building his own fortress as well. Uh, I think we were able to push back a little bit, uh, but. Uh, yeah, it was kind of like all over by that point anyway. You can't really play with just me versus everyone. Uh, Carl has been crippled. I think the uh, I think Carl missed his builder. I think I'm pretty sure Carl must have lost a builder. Um, yeah, and that's. Oh wait, no, he's got uh, one builder just from this one barracks. Um, I've only got 1,300. He yeah, has eight grand. Yeah, I've been giving Carl money. Ryan's only got 1,000. Uh, four grand for Jackson. And Lewis with 1,000 as well. Zero out of 100. Zero. Shit. That sucks. Where is, how is Lewis staying in this game? I don't know. Arrow volley. Devastating. Gimli. Looks like he's on his last legs. gone but Gimli and Gloin wasn't enough it was not enough had plenty of trebuchets <laughs> oh that was a good shot but yes there's nothing you can do I'm actually surprised that that uh, attack of Gloin didn't actually take down more of the uh, fortress to be honest I think that's a bit unfair uh, but yes we did our best, but the momentum was against us. And when you're trying to fight the momentum, you're pretty fucked. I think that was my arrow volley. Yeah. There we go, get rid of these fuckers. Fighting to the last man. Fortress, gone. All of our fortresses gone undermine right here not sure if it was really needed because I don't think the trebuchets were doing that much damage anyway <clears throat> yeah see they all get back up that's the most deadly sound you can think of bloody hobbits but the game was going quickly very very quick this is actually probably one of the uh, uh, the slowest games we've had but it was fast in terms of uh, where people were getting to all over the map and there was basically no time to think uh, but I guess when there's three of you it's tough to be able to get the other three without the other two on one team to be able to help the other person out if one of them's doing better I think Lewis struggled on this one and that's only natural because Isengard against Dwarves on a small map it really is unfair for Isengard uh, and it puts uh, dwarves in uh, a very advantageous position, um, but uh, but yeah, and there were two of them. Uh, but uh, I think there was uh, there was good play all around. I think Gaz to be able to take out Lewis early on. I think if that had if Gaz had faltered against Lewis and taken let's say like another five ten minutes to be able to take him out. I think we would have won because Jackson would have been out and retreated into either Gaz's or Ryan's base and um, then the momentum would have swung our favor because then all Lewis would have to do is just keep on tying up Gaz's forces but uh, I think and now he's getting lippy with these trebs finally Ryan Ryan likes to get in with the trebuchets he might be about half an hour late but he gets in with the trebs now He's tough. He's hard as nails. Right, more, more of this. Shouldn't be taking this long, lads. What it was? What, what is this? It, what, why you got all this here? Like, move them all in. Delaying the inevitable. Earthquake. 
Good position for it. Good position for it. Fighting to the last man. What the fuck is he doing round here, guys? Jesus Christ. There's nothing down there. Who's got an ivory tower? Ryan, you must have an ivory tower. Why don't you have an ivory tower to help out your teammates? Boish. Ooh, that was a nice escape. A nice escape for these trebuchets. Very nice. What's going on over here? Oh, uh, this thing is still here. This is still here. Sweet Christ. Well, <clears throat> here we go. It's only a matter of moments until the end of the game. Right, Lewis, officially out of the game. And Gaz is slowly taking control of more of the map. And Jackson's assisting him as well with more and more guardians. There just seems to be loads and loads and loads of troops all over the map. And I think that um, Gaz probably financed the whole damn thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, 21 Gs. Well played. Very well played. Uh, Ryan and yeah, full ground. So yes, very well played. I think Gaz was definitely in a position to be able to finance everybody and bring them back to life. It is difficult to be a, when you've lost your fortress and your base to come back as quickly as possible. But I think, Lewis, like next time, I think you needed like three or four barracks and then a couple of siege works and whatnot. And just keep on like pumping those troops. I think in more like Uruks as well, uh, instead of just the expensive pikeys. And, and, not, and if you are going to go the um, Berserker rush, don't do it one by one because they just get picked off and killed one by one. So, yeah. Very nice. Very good. Methodical. I am out of the game. I am out of the game. Which means that Carl is the only one left. And Carl, yeah, probably a good idea. Quit. So, yes, very fascinating game as to how the hell that turned. I think there were a couple of moments there where it could have gone either way. But, yes, of course, leave your thoughts and comments. See you on the next one for round two, best of three.